Hey guys, Sam from Irons Outdoor, and in today's video, I'm trying out some new lures that I'm actually really excited to try out. And those are some of the Euro Tackle Micro Finesse Series Soft Plastics. And these are lures that uh, another YouTuber, Extreme Philly Fishing, uses a bunch in his videos, and he, he catches everything on them. So I'm gonna do a little quick little unboxing to show you all what I got. All right, so what I mean when I say quick, I mean this is gonna be really quick. Let me just dump these lures out. So basically I got two different soft plastics from Euro Tackle. The first is this Anisoptera. It's a little one and a half inch like bug looking lure. And this is the one I was most excited for. Extreme Philly fishing caught, I mean pretty much everything on this, like all types of panfish, trout and bass, which is uh, what's in this creek. And I got those in the brown color and in this black color. And then I got this little Metacraw lure, which is 1.8 inches in the brown color. It's just like a slightly bigger little crawfish lure. And then I got some of the micro finesse tungsten jig heads to go with those. This is the 132nd ounce in the si with the size 6 hook. And this is the 132nd ounce with the size 4 hook, which is for those little metacraws. And basically today I'm just going to be starting off with the brown anti-soap terror, that little one and a half inch bug. I'm going to see what I can catch on it. Man, this thing looks too good to not catch us some fish. I think it's got to catch us some fish today. Oh, I had one. I already had a fish. This is my first cast. Had a bite. Oh, he getting bites. There's a fish. Oh my goodness. Second cast. And I had a bite on my first cast. Dude, okay, this might be a really good bait. I, I mean, based off the videos I saw in Extreme Philly Fishing, I thought I was going to fall in love with this lure. And so far, so good. It's just a little baby bluegill, but that's a really good sign. There's a the fish. There we go, another bluegill it looks like, maybe a sunfish. Let's see, it's a little, I think it's a hybrid. This guy looks to be a hybrid between a bluegill and a green sunfish. I'm pretty sure on that one. Yeah, I think that's gotta be a hybrid between a bluegill and a green sunfish. But uh, so far just sunfish, but I'm sure I would think a bass would eat this too. And so would a trout. Oh, bass just ate this, oh my gosh. Or is that a bass or a trout? It's a trout. Oh my goodness, it's a nice little rainbow. I mean, he's not that big, but it's a trout. And I brought my net today because I thought I might catch a trout. Awesome, dude. I do not get to catch trout very often, but now since I'm in college, living in the mountains, thought about targeting them a little more. And there we go. I brought my net today. I'll try to take very good care of this trout, and it's a beautiful little trout. Oh, no. He just got away. You're kidding me. Well, I mean, obviously that counts, but uh, I was trying to get a picture with him, but he slipped through my net. I knew I had a hole in my net. Um, I did not know it was over there. Got him. What is this? Looks like a sunfish, it's tiny. Yep. This is a little green sunfish. It's a beautiful one. Man, how long have I been, I'm gonna see how long I've been fishing for. 13 minutes, okay, I mean, that's not super crazy, but still, I've already caught four fish in the first 13 minutes. And I was dealing with that trout for a couple minutes before he swam out of my net. All right, oh, there he goes. Dude, next cast. These are amazing so far. Oh my gosh. And this is the little red breast. Man, these things are working so well. I'll give him a little more agile release. I forgot my underwater camera today, but that's okay. There's a fish. There's always a bunch of sunfish under this tree. And I got a few bites, but they had come off. And this fish is a hybrid between a green sunfish and maybe a bluegill, maybe something else, I'm not totally sure. 
but it's pretty cool. It's a cool looking hybrid. All right, and it has actually been a little over 20 minutes without a fish, which is kind of surprising, but I think I just went through some areas that don't really hold as many fish. I'm definitely expecting to catch some more fish out of this little hole right here. But uh, there that guy goes. He's taking a minute. I don't even know if y'all can see him, but yeah, now there he goes. There's one. I'm getting a bunch of little hits. Oh my goodness, it's a baby bass. Oh well, I knew this would catch bass too. And this is a tiny fish. It looks like a largemouth. I mean, it's probably too hard to tell if it's a, or it's probably too small to tell if it's a spotted or a largemouth, but it looks like a largemouth. Oh. There he goes. I just took a picture of him and he flung off. There's a fish. Is it a fish? Yeah, yeah, it's a fish. Where is he? Oh, my goodness. Little sunfish. A little red breast. Didn't even realize I had him. But, uh, oh, there he goes. There's a fish. That was like my second cast. I think it's a little sunfish. Yep, a little red breast. So uh, that's a good sign where you got another fish really fast. I got a fish on like my second cast the other day too, I think. But uh, that's not a bad little red breast. I mean, they only get so big in here, even though there's definitely some bigger than this. We'll let them go though. There's a fish under the tree. This tree always holds sunfish, uh, which I actually saw so like a couple trout up in that hole uh, up there where I caught that uh, red breast, but I couldn't get him to bite this thing. There we go, little green sunfish. This might be our first like full, full bred green sunfish of the video. I'm not really sure. There's a fish. Ooh, I didn't even realize he had it. It's a little bass. Yep, it's a little bass. A little bit better than the teeny tiny bass we caught the other day. All right, and this is a largemouth. That's interesting. I've mainly only caught spotted bass in this creek, but this little anisoptera or whatever it's called is bringing out a few largemouth. And unfortunately, I forgot my underwater release camera yet again, but uh, I'll just let him go. There's a fish. Ooh. So just a little sunfish or is it a bass? Oh, it's a little, oh, dang it. It was a little bass. It was smaller than the last one, but still. I like catching these little, little creek bass. There's a fish. Ooh, it might be the same bass. It's another little guy that's like the same size. This might be the same bass. Maybe, oh, you're kidding. I don't know, I think that kind of counts because I got him out of the water. But that was another little largemouth. There's a fish. I knew there had to be a fish under there. Oh my goodness, it's another bass. We've gotten into like three bass in a row. Or four unless those two other ones I lost were different fish. But yeah, this lure is pulling out some tiny little bass. I don't know, it, it almost seems like the bass favorite over the sunfish now. But I mean, I'm, I'm sure this will catch more sunfish too. Let's let him go. There's a fish, ooh. Didn't even realize he had it. There's a dog up there. It's watching me, I was kind of looking at him. Um, it's another little bass. I should keep letting these fish get off. I don't know why my drag feels so tight. I think my line might have been wrapped around the tip of my rod. Okay, let me try not to lose this fish. There we go. Another largemouth, I think. He might be somewhat of a mixture. His tail looks a little weird, but I don't know. I think he's probably just a largemouth. Or at least mainly a largemouth. I'm, I'm really surprised I haven't gotten more sunfish. I've gotten what, like four bass in a row without a sunfish? It's definitely uh, pretty surprising, I would think. There's a fish. Ooh. Is this another bass? Or no, I think this is a sunfish. 
but it's, ooh, wow, he's fighting. Yeah, this is a little red breast. Ooh, this is a pretty good red breast, actually. Yeah, that's a better red breast. It's a lot better than the uh, first little red breast we caught today. We'll let him go. There we go. I think it's another little sunfish. Yep, a little smaller red breast. But man, this is pretty fun. Now, I think this whole area is gonna be a lot more productive because it's a lot slower. I mean, a lot more productive for like bass and sunfish. I don't think there'll really be any trout here. Or, I mean, there could be in this area, but probably not as many. There's a fish. Did not get a hook set on him. I don't really need a, much of a hook set on these little fish. But there's a bluegill. That's our first bluegill today. I think we, I think the first fish I caught in this video was a bluegill um, a couple days ago. There we go. I mean, this this is such a great multi-species lure. Like, I, I kind of wonder how many species we've caught total. I mean, we've got bluegill, redbreast sunfish, green sunfish, largemouth bass, and rainbow trout. I'm surprised we've gotten so many largemouth and no spotted bass. It's possible. One of those tiny ones could have been a spotted bass, but I'm pretty sure they're a largemouth. Oh my gosh, dude, what the heck? A fish was just chasing this and hit it on the top of the water. Dude, that was weird. There's a fish. There we go, yeah, this is really like the long, deep part that's, uh, really slow and man that's a beautiful red breast so i think this is going to be a good spot for sunfish and maybe some bass all right there we go there's a fish in that deep water i was getting a bunch of hits over there got a bunch of hits up here too and i kept missing them and it's a bluegill decent sized bluegill Definitely the biggest bluegill we've caught. There's just so many fish that are in here that'll hit this thing. Well, I was not able to get anything on the little Metacraw. I had some bites, but I'm honestly a little bit anxious to leave because I've got some homework to do. But overall, this was definitely um, a pretty successful couple days of fishing. Um, I fished for like an hour and 20 minutes today, maybe, and like an hour the other day. So I, I caught a lot of fish in that time mainly just little sunfish but also got into like I think five little bass total and then also that uh, little trout which is always fun to catch a little trout out of here so anyway I think I'll definitely be using these little Euro tackle lures again but hope you all enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already but I'll catch you all on that next video thanks for watching